so sometimes you might need to create an order manually for your customers and for you to do this you need to create a draft orders hey guys happiness here welcome back to my channel the best place for you to learn about a different shopify tutorial small businesses tips as well as entrepreneurship in general and today's video is very good and i'm sure so many of you have been waiting for this and basically i am going to be showing you guys how you can go and create a draft orders for your customers so creating a draft order will require you to manually enter all your product manually um, choose the shipping and apply taxes as well as apply payment method everything will require you to do them manually and this process is very easy very simple and quick but you're gonna have to pay more attention on every details that you're going to put on your stuff because you are creating an order and you really don't want to mess up on the shipping method so you can end up paying less on the shipping overcharging your customer or paying more and things like that so every little detail matters so you have to pay attention on it so these draft orders they are very very useful if you need to accept payment for orders that you have made online or in person and sometimes you take pre-orders so draft order can be really really useful and sometimes you can send invoices to customers so they can pay you with a secure and checkout link and lastly when you want to manually recreate a mistaken orders so basically draft orders has so many reasons and i just mentioned like few of them but there are so many of them i don't know what is your reason you are watching this video to create your draft orders but don't worry because i am going to show you how you can do it easily so before i jump into this tutorial please don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like these leave me a comment down below on the comment sections and let me know what you think about today's tutorial so without further ado let's jump into this tutorial here we are on our shopify store and in order for us to create a draft order we have to go right over here on the orders and click orders and on the orders section there are different selections for all orders draft and abandoned checkout so pretty much if you made sales all your orders will be right over here on the all orders and all your draft orders will be right over here and if your customers visited your store they happen to add things on their shopping shopping carts and instead of checking out they left your store you will find all the abundance checkout right over here okay so we are going to create a draft order so pretty much you can go ahead and click draft here and this will be our draft orders section so if you created draft orders before they will all appear right over here and basically you will have to enter all your products manually so to go ahead and start creating a draft orders we'll click here create draft orders so this is the product page where we are going to enter our products manually we are also going to enter our shopping costs taxes if you're charging taxes on your shopify store all of them you're going to apply them here manually okay so i forgot to tell you before like draft order is also another way which is very useful in that you can go ahead and accept payments for an order that you made over a phone or in person so you can go ahead and create a draft order here or if you want to take pre-orders through for orders that you don't have in your store yet you can go ahead and create a draft order okay so now let's go ahead and create a draft order so you have an option you can go right over here and search a product that you're looking for if you know a name or you can go ahead right over here and click browse either you can pick your product from all products on the popular products on your collection or you can use tags so let me go ahead and click and click all products and my all products will pop up right over here so what i'm gonna do i am gonna go ahead and select a product that i want to create a draft 
so let's say I am going to pick a dress so I am going ahead and select this box here with divine mini dress so you have to be very very careful when you select the product by itself it will select all the sizes that are available in your store so you have to pay attention like what size are you going to create an order for this so let's say if you're going to create a draft order for size small medium or large you can go ahead and select a size that you want to create an order but if not you can go ahead and unselect them and and leave only one size that you're going to create an order for it okay so you have to be very careful about that and once you're done you can go ahead and click add so now you can see my order is here already and you have to pay attention as well like how many quantities are you going to create an order so let's say if you're going to create for two you can go ahead and add two or if one you are gonna have to go with one okay now as you can see there is no shipping cost or any discount code or taxes as well so we are gonna have to add all of this manually as well so let's say if you selected a wrong product you can go ahead and delete this product by clicking this x right over here when you click x and your product will disappear okay that's how you can go ahead and remove the product and you can add the product with the same process I showed you before. So let's say if you're creating a custom item, you can go and click this link right over here, like click add custom item, and you can give the name, and you can give the item a name, you can put the price and the quantity, and if this item is taxable, you can go ahead and select it, and if it's not taxable, you can go ahead and unselect it. And also, if this item requires shipping, you can select that box here and you can put the weight of your product. But if the, it doesn't require shipping, you can just unselect that, okay, and you can click done. But on this video, I am not going to show you how to create a custom item. But if you are creating a custom item, this is how you can go ahead and do it. I'm gonna close that and also if you create a draft order but it's a reserve item you can go ahead and click reserve items and you can go ahead and put the time and a date so you can select a date here and put the time and you can click done and this item will be reserved and that's how you do it and once you're done you can go ahead and click done in order for you to save it but I'm not gonna do that for today, so I'm gonna close it. And you can go also and add a discount if you are offering a discount to this order. And to add your discount, you can go ahead and click add discount. And you can go ahead and pick the discount type that you're going to do. So let's say if you're going to offer an amount or you're going to offer a percentage. So let's say if you're offering like 2%, you can go ahead and put that and also put the reason of why you're adding this discount so let's say um you can type your reason like draft order discount okay and then click apply or if you're offering just amount you can go ahead and put it so let's say you offer let's say you're offering like two dollars so your customer will get a discount of two dollars from that amount but i'm just gonna put percentage and i think i'm gonna offer only two percent okay and once you're done you can go ahead and click apply and the discount will apply it by itself automatically after you added your discount manually okay as you can see now instead of being 24.99 it is 24.50 and the discount is 49 cents and you can go ahead and add a number of discounts you want to offer a little like 20 percent 30 percent it's up to you i just put two percent it's just an example for you guys but you have to be careful to watch how much discount you're making and you have to watch if you're going to make a profit or a loss and if your order requires shipping you can go ahead and click add a shipping right over here 
and you can see here you can pick either if you're doing free shipping or you're doing like a custom shipping and if you're doing a custom shipping you can go ahead and put the rate and the price or if you're doing a free shipping you can go ahead and select that and click apply but as you can see there is a red flag here that if you're not seeing all your rates add a customer with a complete shipping address so basically what you're going to do let me close this first right over here on the customers so if you have your customers already saved on your website like if that is a returning customer you will definitely have their information here their name their address their email address their physical address and their phone number so you can go ahead and type their name here and like let's say um your name your customer's name is happy so when you click search shopify will find them but this is like a brand new store so i don't have any customers yet so i'm just gonna take that out but that's how you can do it and if you don't have any customers you can go ahead and click and click this plus here to create a new customer so i'm going to click that and this is the customer and this is the new customer card and here you can go ahead and add your first name for your customers so your customer's first name is hello and hello john god okay and then you can go ahead and put their email address um okay at gmail.com by the way i'm only making up all of this and if your customers accept email marketing you can go ahead and select that and if your customers has a tax exempt you can go ahead and select that so you won't charge them tax but if you don't want to add all of those you can just go and take them out but this is how you can do it and then on the shipping address go ahead and put the shipping address so let's say your customer is from um let's pick this uh this address okay so once you're done filling out the physical address and you can go ahead and put the phone number if you want to uh, if you don't have a phone number you can just go ahead and click save customers okay and now here we are we can see we have an we have a contact information for your customer their name and their shipping address so now you can go ahead and add shipping so click add shipping and um, if you want to offer a free shipping or you are offering a custom shipping you can go ahead and give the rate of your shipping so let's say um, this is like economy you can go ahead oh my bad it's eco economy you can go ahead and name that and how much are you charging for shipping like let's say you're charging shipping for $7.99 so I'm going to add $7.99 and then you can go ahead and click apply. And here you have your shipping cost. And this is the total for everything. If you're charging tax on your product, make sure to click tax here because you have to add all this information manually. So I'm going and click add tax and you have to make sure this box is selected. So if you don't charge any taxes on the product that you're offering or a service, make sure to click again tax and then unselect this, this box and you can go ahead and click apply and you won't charge your customers taxes. But if you do charge taxes, make sure to click that and select the box and you can type apply basically as you can see your taxes amount is not here but by default draft order include taxes based on your store's tax setting and the customer shipping addresses as well so if you set up your tax settings on your store your taxes will be your taxes will come up right over here and this is because if you're charging taxes in your store but if you're not charging taxes make sure to click that and unselect you're not and unselect this box that you're not charging taxes and then click apply and one more thing if you put like a wrong customer or you want to remove your customer you can just go ahead and click this x right over here when you click x 
your customer will disappear. So that that is how you can go ahead and delete your customers. And you can go ahead and add back your customers. As you can see, these are some of my customers that they are available on my website already. So I am going to select my customer and all their information will come up right over here. And that's how you add your customers. You can also organize your orders by adding tags. As you can see here, there are tags available. So you can go ahead and enter each tag that you want. For example, this product is a dress. So I'm just going to add a dress and then press enter and add another tag, like, like let's say dresses. Or if you have tags available already on your website, you can just go ahead and click view all tags. So all your tags will appear right over here. If you want to put them alphabetically, they will all appear here. But I didn't have any tags, that's why I created. And these are the tags that I created so far. Uh, but if you have different tags on your Shopify store, they will all appear right over there. And then you can just select them and click apply changes. And that's how you can go ahead and add your tags. So this is how you can go ahead and create a draft order on your Shopify store. So if you're ready to accept the payment, you have to come here and collect payments. Or you can go ahead and send an invoice to your customers so they can so you can collect your payments. Or if you're not ready, you can go ahead and click save right over here and come back later to accept the payments. But if the payment is not due now, you can just go ahead and click this, click this box that the payment is due later. And you can also select your payment terms. So if the payment is due on the receipt or it's due within seven days, 15 days, 30 days, or a fixed date, and you can go ahead and select the date that you want, okay? That's how you can go ahead and do it. If the payment is not due later, it's due now, you can just go ahead and unselect that, click here, collect payment, and stuff like that. So on this tutorial, I am not going to show you how you can go ahead and start collecting payments for all your draft orders because that is a different topic. So be sure to watch my next video because I'll be showing you how you can go ahead and invoice and accept payments on draft orders. So make sure to watch the next video. And so far, go ahead and click save to save your draft orders. Um, as you can see here, Shopify is telling you your draft order is created already. And to locate all your draft orders, so go to, so click orders and then click draft and your draft orders will appear here. So if you have many draft orders, they will all appear here. So yeah, guys, this is how you can go ahead and create your draft order on your Shopify store. I hope this video was very helpful. If it was, uh, don't forget to watch the next video where I am going to show you how you can go ahead and accept your draft payments. And also don't forget to give me a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like this. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.